going to redraw my husband's artwork. Oh, no, but it's dinner time. <laughs> it's not dinner time. We had dinner an hour ago. Well, it's dessert time then. <laughs> always pick the worst time. Dessert time is the worst time. Dessert time is always the worst time. What? Cookies, <laughs> What did you make? So this is Philip, the cupcake prince, <laughs> and his honey badger, Todd. Now I got myself something like a treat. Why is his name Todd? No, no, oh, oh, treat. <laughs> so I have to redraw Philip and a Todd in my own style. What are you eating? Uh, I don't know. Where did you get those? Uh, downstairs. Those were a surprise. For, for later. Oh. For you. Oh. I've decided to turn his lollipop staff into a lollipop mace. Richard, why is he scared? Because he's not going to get any dessert or cupcakes. He's going to eat his fellow cupcakes. Yeah, they're delicious. I'm worried about you. Don't eat. I've got cookies. I'm good. Everyone say hello to Philip and his honey badger, Todd. <laughs> So it's my anniversary. Usually that means it's time to draw my husband as something weird or silly or cute. <laughs> but this year, I'm doing something a little different. I don't really like taking photos of myself. And that's something that always makes Rich really sad. I'm hiding in the closet now because Rich came home. Uh, I wanted to surprise him this year by making him think I'm gonna draw, but I'm not. I'm gonna do like a foxy, bodacious photo shoot where I wear makeup and everything. And Rich has never seen me in makeup. So I... <laughs> He's gonna be kind of surprised. The photos are here. Here's just a few of them. It's actually really nice to like actually like a photo of myself for the first time in years. But there's no time for feelings because it's time to show my husband. Okay, look. Uh, uh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So I didn't I didn't make you a drawing this year. I like this even more. <laughs> I love you. You're so pretty. I love you. <laughs> I have drawn my husband too many times to count. And you know what? I think I think I'm sick of it. I think I'm sick of it, Rich. <laughs> so what if other creators drew my husband? Oh, heck yeah, good. <laughs> good, good, good. Let's see how it's going. Ooh. All right, we done. Ooh. Present to Richard <gasps> Oh, it's so cute. You can make you can make him into something if you want. I'm making him into a crab. I'm an artist. You gave my husband crabs? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my very best. And here you go. Oh, I love this one. I really love it. Just follow that. Scared to know what you've done. So it took me all night. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> Jane, would you? Smash. <laughs> Are you having a dramatic moment? Yeah, I'm Louisa. Oh, oh, party oh, time for Wanna play a game? Uh, no. Well, too bad, it's guess who? So for those that don't know, this is a game where Rich has to describe <laughs> someone and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. Okay, Rich, give me them sweet, sweet deets on that face shape. Um, he's kind of shaped like a squishy, chubby muffin. <laughs> he's got like giant puss in his eyes. <laughs> he's really cute in general. Defining features other than the planet sized eyes? Yeah, he's got really big ears. Like, how are bigger thinking? 10 times bigger than that. <laughs> I feel so sorry for whoever this is. A tiny nose. Tiny nose. Tiny mouth. Tiny mouth. Wrinkles. <laughs> wrinkles? So many wrinkles. Are you serious? All of the wrinkles. Is this, is this who I think it is? He doesn't have mittens, honey. <laughs> Dang it! I was onto something. Just so you know, he's green. <gasps> it's Squidward, isn't it? <laughs> Who was it? It's Baby O. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna draw the vaccines as people. Starting with Moderna. I feel like each vaccine has basically become like its own Hogwarts house. <laughs> Instead of having things like Godric Gryffindor, we have Madame Moderna. And since the Madame is 94% effective, I am going to make her a strong, independent woman. I mean, you know, she's out here saving lives. With them thick thighs! I'm also making her just a little bit older, you know, cause, cause Madame Moderna has only been approved for adults. <laughs> what is that face about? What do you mean? <laughs> that the vaccine's only for adults? Yeah. That it, they haven't done the testing. What are you, <laughs> wait, what are you talking about? I feel like she's the kind of person you'd meet at the bar and two hours later she's your best friend. Completely elegant, but completely willing to throw down if necessary. See, who's that sexy vaccine I see over there? Oh, that's Madame Moderna. <laughs> <laughs> Three 
three years ago, my husband and I decided to carve each other as pumpkins. <laughs> This year, we're doing it again because I think our carving skills might have gotten a little bit better. I'm planning mine out, but Rich apparently is just gonna wing it. Why does it look like it's bleeding? No! <laughs> Richard! <laughs> Stop shaking it around like that. You have to shake it, it won't get in otherwise. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to my pumpkin now. <laughs> you would think I'd be better at stabbing. Why would you think that? <laughs> no reason. Don't worry about it. Okay. How's it looking? Good. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what needs to be bigger? Just make it bigger. What needs to be bigger? I didn't know what to do about the beard, but this year I'm gonna use leaves. I'm done, and mine's looking pretty good. Uh, are you ready to show me whatever that is? Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it? I have a beard. Yeah. I turn around and look. Oh god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Happy Halloween, Rich. Yeah. Rich. What? Get in here and help me! But I'm busy petting kitties. <laughs> can you please draw me some shapes so that I can turn into faces? Fine, Luna. I guess you don't matter. <laughs> oh, so rich! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna draw me some shapes, some interesting shapes, and I, I'm gonna turn those shapes into faces. Okay, I can work. I can work with most of these, but <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It could be a helicopter. <laughs> Okay, I'm ignoring that. We're starting with Lady Violet. I think Lady Violet bakes pies. How can you tell? It's in her smile. What? That is the face of a woman who makes Boston pecan pie. <laughs> this man looks like the guy who steals her lawnmower. No one's yard is better than my yard. I have, I have superior grass. Okay, this one's my favorite so far. <laughs> I made discount Bo Burnham. Hey, look, I made you some content. Oh, goody, this one. <laughs> when in doubt, make a carrot and a squirrel. Since my husband has yet to ask me to be his valentine, I'm just gonna ask him by making him a silly, saucy Valentine's Day card. And what will our theme be? <laughs> Nothing says romance like a wet, soggy sponge! Ah! direction I wanted to go in. Okay, wait. This might not be as bad as I thought because I was looking up sponges. Ah! He really said scrub daddy. <laughs> Other people get, you know, chocolate and flowers. No, no. I'm over here gauging did I put too much sweat on my scrub papa. <laughs> it's, really... it's time to ask the Valentine's Day boy. Oh my god, he's got a sponge. Do I look? Yes. <laughs> wait. What? <laughs> Daddy? Will you be my scrub daddy? Um, I don't think I can be that kind of scrub daddy. Oh. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time we did our boy Mike. <laughs> but this time we're doing Jessica. All right, first off, Jessica is the mom of the friend group. Not only is she busy taking care of everyone else, but her purse contains everything, including Kleenex, pain meds, and dry deer jerky. <laughs> if it's the apocalypse. Find yourself a Jessica. <laughs> Jessica is really on top of everything, except for the thousands of DIYs she started and never finished. Let us have a moment of silence for all of the unused paint and contact paper. But you never finished DIYs Shh, no, 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 moment of silence. You know those signs in people's homes that say girl boss and but first coffee? Oh, yeah. She has all of them in her home. Coincidentally, fall is actually Jessica's favorite season. <laughs> the fresh smell of pumpkin spice on all of Jessica's sweaters. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Water-stained Uggs. Everybody make sure to say hello to your neighbor, Jessica. What name do you guys want to see next? Want to play a game? Oh, God. <laughs> well, too bad. It's Guess Who. But for those not in the know, this is a game where Rich has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. All right, Rich. Tell me about this character. Well, he's kind of tall. He's tall. And he's strong, like, puh. <laughs> <laughs> like, Huh? Is this puh enough for you? Uh, it's pretty puh. It's pretty puh. I just want to make sure it's not lacking a puh. He's got a ton of hair, like so much hair. Oh, is it like is it like healthy hair or like? Um, he conditions. <laughs> we got the hair. We got the bod. We got the facade. How's the fit? Uh, what fit? His clothes. What's he wearing? Nothing. <laughs> I can't draw that, Rich. Okay, well. Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh, his hair and his coat or whatever are blue and purple. Here's mine! Wow! What was it? Sully! No, no, no. 
My wife has a really bad cold right now and she doesn't feel good. So like a good husband, I'm gonna draw her fused with something random. I just gotta get the tablet from her sicky nest. Ugh, why did she put these on the tablet? Just gotta get a picture of her for reference and she's definitely not gonna hate me for this. Last time I drew my wife fused with Smokey the Bear. This time it's gonna be Godzilla. Oh my God, oh, she's gonna divorce me. I'm gonna draw my wife a little bit sick because that's what my art is all about. Being realistic, real art, real people real monsters instead of these icky spikes i'm gonna wrap her in a blanket a blanket for my godzilla princess something's missing there we go my masterpiece is done and it's time to show my wife hey honey guess what what oh god i drew you <laughs> okay look oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're godzilla what is this thing um it's your snot rag <laughs> Not funny. Find the generator here. Let's play a game. <laughs> Guess who with art? So here's the rules. Rich, uh, oh, me? that guy, <laughs> yes, is going to describe someone to me, someone famous, and I am going to have to draw them and see how close I can get. Okay, face shape. Go. He's kind of built like a square. If you're just doing SpongeBob, <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, we have a square man. And how old is the square man? Um, he's kind of daddy age. <laughs> Daddy aged? We talking like daddy or daddy? Uh, kind of both. What? Daddy aged? Oh, and he needs to be disappointed in everyone around him. That I can do. Okay, hair. It's kind of messy and spiky. I think I know who it is. Oh. Okay, give me the hair color because I'm pretty sure, for sure I know who it is. It's blonde. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, here's my character. Who were you thinking of? It's Gordon Ramsay. Oh no! I'm gonna draw Amazon as a person. So I picture Amazon as like kind of like a delivery man or like a, a traveling salesman. Somewhat like a like an everyday Santa Claus. You know, he has everything, he delivers everywhere, but he doesn't sneak into your house. <laughs> Unlike Santa Claus, however, Amazon sometimes forgets to deliver your packages, even though you've ordered them so many times and it's been weeks. Where are my kitchen chairs at, Amazon? It says they're getting here tomorrow. Oh, does it? Does it say that? Does it say that? Anyone who wants their packages, you know, a little bit faster, you can always order from Amazon Prime. Amazon's little helper fairy. She's small. She's fast. What? She won't drop your packages off last. <laughs> He's got to be like a little muscular to carry all those packages, but he has to have strong, sinewy legs. Excuse that Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you were in here. Should I leave you alone with your Amazon drive? No, shut up. <laughs> Cap toys, video games, and toast. He's got it all. Is there something you desire? Well, call him. Because he's got your back. And don't forget about Prime. I'm the strong sinewy leg man. Stop! I just gotta know. What if Disney princesses became villains? I've drawn quite a few Disney villains as beautiful princesses. But this time we're switching it up and seeing what would happen if we went the other way. So without further ado, let's make Anna into the villain she was destined to be. And you may be wondering why we're not doing Elsa. We want to see her really let it go. You may be surprised to find out, but Elsa was supposed to be a villain. And I don't think I could improve on these designs. Basically, what would Anna be like if she never found her strong, handsome, good boy and instead went with the Disgusting heart. Sucked in by those beautiful eyes. Hey. <laughs> are you pouting? I'm sorry, Luna. You have to go. This is the I think my husband's eyes are ugly corner. Are you freaking serious right now? I think the evil Anna would have very opulent taste to match her brand new disgusting husband. Yeah. Even though Anna has her own crown in the second movie, I'm going to give her Elsa's crown from the first movie. Because she definitely killed her for it. <laughs> Here she is in all of her evil glory. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and who will our first character be? Ooh, Lumiere. <laughs> who are we combining with Lumiere? Oh, God. Chucky. <laughs> there is legitimately no hope of this thing looking normal. <laughs> for those not in the know, I have to somehow combine this saucy candle man with... <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. This is this is what I've chosen to do with my life. I am sitting here. I am sitting here. And I am trying to figure out how a toddler's feet would be combined with a candlestick bottom. My life is, is consumed with this Bob the Builder looking toe of a candle. This might be too much wax for the size of a candle. Oh, I don't how know. How big is his wick? <laughs> oh, he's got big wick energy. What? <laughs> he's on fire. He's on fire. All his guests, they have expired. I know you're all dying to meet Lucky, so here he is. <laughs> Find the generator here. 
drawing challenge with Casey Art. <laughs> oh, and uh, Rich is here. <laughs> and we are gonna draw each other as a mer people, which means I have to draw this saucy bean, and you, <laughs> you have to draw me. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. And uh, you, you get to, you get to watch. <laughs> okay, twenty minutes and go. There is, there is no time for water. There. <laughs> Of a mermaid, you're more like like an electric eel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bee. We gonna draw ourselves an electric eel, Casey, and then we take it higher. Okay, I'm coloring. What are you doing? What are you doing? First, we have Casey. So look at me, I'm a tiger. <laughs> So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What does your name look like to me? Last time, we did Chad. But this time, you guys voted for Patricia. Patricias are either really old or really young. There's just, there's just no middle ground there. And when she was young, she listened to no one. Patricia! Get it together, sweetie. We have a show this weekend. <laughs> now that she's older, she still listens to no one. But that's more due to the hearing aids. <laughs> Demand the finer things in life, even from, from their suitors, their lovers. Like a gigolo. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, I, don't, I don't wanna, I don't know, I don't wanna say it again. <laughs> First of all, that is not how you say that. Second of all, that is not what you think it is. <laughs> no, the finer things in life, you know, like, like opera, and, and pearl necklaces, and, <laughs> and olive garden. What? Bring me more breadsticks, breadstick boy! Cause you know what? Patricia's age like fine wine. Expensive with perfect taste. And just a little bit bitter. <laughs> oh, here's to you, Patricia. You're better than the rest of us. Vote on the next name here. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What does your name look like to me? <laughs> Last time we did Patricia. But this time you guys overwhelmingly voted for Kevin. <laughs> I have been particularly excited about this one because apparently Kevin is the male Karen. What? I thought it was Kyle. No, see, I thought it was Ken. Kevins don't become the male Karen until they turn about 60 years old. <laughs> then they get nasty. <laughs> Unlike the majestic Karens <laughs> whose territory spans the local targets and Walmarts, <laughs> these creatures are often found traveling in packs <laughs> at your local sports bar or Burger King, harassing waitstaff with their loud, mighty yells and their copes amounts of sweat yeah. to all the Kevins out there who are like I don't want to grow up to be a male Karen you'll be fine you'll be fine just as long as you're not wearing your sunglasses on the back of your head <laughs> with that everyone say hello to our male Karen Kevin <laughs> vote on the next name here okay we've drawn lightning and Sally Nick and Judy toothless Olaf Appa and finally stitch as humans that's a lot of characters uh -huh. rich that's a lot of characters uh -huh. rich and this time, it was really close, almost a three-way tie, but you guys voted for Moshe! So let's turn this travel-sized dragon into a full-sized man! So, I'm making him look a little bit like the other ancestors, but with his own dramatic flair, because, you know, you don't meet a man dragon like this every dynasty. And that being said, his outfit's gonna be just a little bit more on the fancy side, because, you know, our boy knows how to dress. Don't you for a single second think that his fanciness means that he would not be completely willing to bite a hairy man's double-cheeked up on a Thursday <laughs> afternoon butt what? to save China! That was vile. Let's get down to business and draw Mushu! <laughs> you go, Dragon Man! You can vote on who I'm going to draw next in my bio. It's Valentine's Day. And that means it's time to draw my husband. Over the years, I've drawn some, uh, interesting pictures of my husband. But last year, I drew him as my very own Valentine's Day princess. And what a beautiful princess he was! But this year, I thought I'd leave it up to fate and fuse him with somebody random. And who is lucky enough to be combined with my... <laughs> Ursula? <laughs> He's gonna be... Somehow combine this fabulous sassy sea witch with Tree, look at you. Oh, I decided to turn the eels into cats. Ah! So Ursula's got like quite the dump truck. But what about Rich? Is he all in any junk? I'm thinking yes. I can't wait to see what Rich is gonna say. Okay, look. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my god, look at her I just gotta know. What if this 
Disney villains became princesses. <laughs> we got you far, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Fessily, Fessilier? The Shadow Man! But now it's time for what I've been waiting for. Crunk! Alright, poison. Poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison! <laughs> Like, come for me down in the comments like, he's not a villain, he's a nice guy, I know! But he deserves this! And besides, he's already halfway there, he can already talk to animals! By the way, the squirrel is apparently called Bucky. I get Bucky a spinach pot. Bro, I am so excited to be drawing another buff princess. Look at those arms! Move over, Gaston, you ain't the soul swole anymore. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, but Kronk will be lifting weights with Gaston in the morning, baking in the afternoon with Tiana, chatting it up with Cinderella's mice in the evenings, pretty much all around. <laughs> Kronk makes the perfect princess! I think I'm in love. We've drawn Lightning and Sally, Taylor Swift, oh, Sid the Sloan, Olaf, and many, 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 many others as humans. And this time, enough of you guys wrote in and got Bluey! Let's find out what Bluey would look like if they were human. <laughs> this is going to need to be like heavily personality based because they're just dog cubes. <laughs> that being said, I'm going to make Bluey into a bit of a troublemaker. Whereas Bingo is going to be a bit more of a goody two shoes. Are you not going to watch with me? I don't want to watch a kid's show. <laughs> but for Chili, I want to make her really sassy. But also with the warmth of a thousand suns. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Oh, it's just a kid show, is it? You are crying. I'm gonna Something prove it. Was in my eyes. Get over here. There's tears in your eyes. Let's be honest. The real main character is the dad. He is the peak of father, the king of yes and. This show is not for kids. It's for parents to learn how to be good parents. I finished, and I actually really love them. Look how cute they are. Hold on. The next character is here. I've already drawn Rich as a superhero, a fall guy, and a Disney villain. Well, Rich has been so excited to watch Godzilla vs. King Kong that I'm gonna- No, Richard, I'm not filming you! I'm not filming- So I wondered, what would happen if I mix this monster of a man with Godzilla? <laughs> Godzilla is about 400 feet tall, so I'm gonna have to accentuate the bodaciousness of my boy. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love my husband, but I don't think he would say no to being so big that you could destroy an entire city. <laughs> now, I've already watched the movie, so I already know who, who wins, who wins- Richard, Richard, you can't hide behind the curtain! This is a surprise! Richard might be a big monster right now, but he's always been a big softy for cats. <laughs> now I know that man's only gonna use his nuclear breath to make atomic hearts for me in the sky. Oh my- Well, I guess not only hearts. What? Say hello to Rich as Godzilla. Oh my god, look at the face. More like Sasilla. Here you go, Rich. Here's your surprise. What? If, what? if that's how you feel about it, my- I'm gonna turn a random photo into a character, and you're gonna help. <laughs> Alright, stop eating Tostitos and find <laughs> a person to draw. Rich, you're not even looking, you're I eating. I am looking. Give me the chips. No. Give me the chips. No, Give me the chips. Why did she be? I mean, not that I'm complaining, she's gorgeous. She but... looks like Elsa. She does kind of look like Elsa. Can I have my chips back now? <laughs> okay, we're drawing almost Elsa. <laughs> and almost Elsa is like queen of the next. My <laughs> god, girl! Okay, <laughs> confession time? I've kind of like always wanted one of those those cool crown things, but I just, I just know I can't pull it off. Oh. I am, I am no queen. I do not slay! Oh. Not like this girl, though. Her hair alone <laughs> could slay millions. Okay. You're my queen. You could slay me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet! <gasps> When did you get a sucker? Oh. Why didn't you get me a sucker? Oh yeah, you're my queen. No, you don't even give me a sucker. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're my queen. Uh -huh. Well, at least hopefully this queen has a king that loves her. Oh. <laughs> Let's draw something random. With the fusion generator? How did you know? Okay, who will our first character be? Oh, oh it's gonna be so cute. And who will he be combined with? Oh, oh no. I was so wrong. This is not gonna be cute at all. So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this little guy with... <laughs> okay, real talk though, these two would not get along in real life. <laughs> Farquaad would not allow fairy tale trash to come in and ruin his perfect bud. Okay, I'm drawing his clothes, and I know that Olaf doesn't really wear clothes, but I refuse to draw a half-naked human Snow Squatch! <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. Hey, Rich. What? Do you think he knows Samantha? What? <laughs> well, at least he knows the Muffin Man. What? Get ready for a new nightmare! <laughs> I really don't want to build a snowman with you! Find the generator here. 
So, I've been wondering, what if fast food restaurants went to private school? What? We know these icons now, but what were they before? A jock, a nerd, a goth? Starting with Wendy's and Taco Bell. <laughs> now, you might think Wendy's is sassy now, but I can guarantee you she was even more sassy back then. <laughs> back in the day, during her goth phase. <laughs> Wendy's was a good student, but she sometimes got mouthy with her professors. <laughs> Her Draco Malfoy. <laughs> and at the school talent show, her roasts are fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Bitch, do you know what these burger skulls say to me? What? They say I will absolutely curse your entire franchise if you keep copying up on my homework! What? Taco Bell, on the other hand, was a good boy with nacho sunglasses. <laughs> and what, you may be asking, was his passion before becoming an absolute icon? <laughs> well, they were a band geek. A percussion <laughs> band geek. I know what you're thinking, he may be a band geek, but he's still a blast. <laughs> a Baja blast. <laughs> and I'm modeling his outfit after my husband's old band uniform. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first students to enter fast food private oh, school. Oh. Hey, hello to Wendy's and TV. <laughs> I wish I were this cool or this precious. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? I'm going to redraw my husband's artwork. Oh, but I'm just sitting down. <laughs> not Should... working. You have to try. Cooking <laughs> and screaming the entire time. What did you make? It's Madame Pony. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the goal. I have to redraw. Madam Ponyguard, in my own style. And you know what? Some days, there are days, there are days when I wonder, am I using my expensive art degree to its fullest extent? But then I get to draw people like Madam Ponyguard and her magical sheep. That's and I a think, horse. That's not... obviously a horse. Oh, is it? I'm not changing it. Her name it. is Madam Pony. It's too late. You can't win me over with your words. You know what? I was originally kind of worried about all the gold, thinking it wouldn't work, but it works since she has a sun on her head. That is a sun. Yeah. That's a sun? That's a sun. It's not some kind of weird cactus, is it? Well, I'm just checking. You never know. It could be a horse. This is the most stressful thing I've created, but everyone say hello to Madame Ponyguard. Is she everything you dreamed of, Rich? Yeah. Could have had a horse, though. I swear to God. Let's draw something random. With... The fusion generator. Why do you have a carton? And who will our first character be? Oh, the fairy godmother so sassy. And who will this queen be combined with? Oh! Don't know. I have to somehow combine sassy <laughs> with swole. So basically, this person couldn't be more into themselves unless they were up their own butthole. Up top, he may be built like a truck. But <laughs> he definitely rides a tricycle. Oh no, Rich. What? Oh no, Rich, no. And every last inch of me's covered with hair. Ah! Okay, I know I complained, but I don't hate it. <laughs> Why don't I hate it? <laughs> Stop it! Stop! <laughs> I'm learning too much about myself. I took this and this and give you this button! <laughs> Find the generator here. You guys know Call Me Chris. Chris. Yeah? Well, choice now. I've drawn all of her characters. <laughs> but by gum and gosh, gosh darn it, she made more. So say hello to Carpal Tunnel because I'm going to draw all of them. <laughs> so why don't we start with someone a little close to a certain Chad's heart? That's right, it's Bex. <laughs> I feel like we all went through a phase where we thought we were as cool as Bex, but none of us, none of us really were. Even you. <laughs> I rest my kid. Move over, Courtney. I'm betting on Bex. And up next is, what's that music? <laughs> oh my, if it isn't Scout Leader Boone and his assistant Walter. Okay, so Walter gives me like heavy Dwight Shrew vibes. But this guy, <laughs> he reminds me of one man. And one man only. Take the lead. <laughs> Moving on. We have a couple additions to Janet and Riley's family. <laughs> Janet's father and her evil twin sister. And Katrina's got some family, Boris, Svetlana, and James. And then we have Natalie and Tom. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> your belief in me is overwhelming. <laughs> and who will our first character be? Ooh, Elsa! And who will be combined with our icy queen? Oh, no! <laughs> How are we gonna do this it's one? It's gonna be terrible! <laughs> so for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this winter wonderland of a woman <laughs> with <laughs> this disappointing squid. Dude, I have no reference point! He is a freaking alien! There's something wrong with his head! I am, I am really focusing on the tentacle part of Squidward tentacles. She is thicker than a snicker, heavy like a Chevy. Come on, Calamari, let me, let me. I hate Calamari. Would, I would give my soul for this drawing to not exist. I hate myself for making this. Find the generator here. So I've drawn lightning and Sally. Two 
Slit, Olaf, Sid, Wally, and Eve, and a lot of others as humans. But this time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Tom and Jerry? I'm really surprised, but let's do Tom and Jerry! Since Tom and Jerry was actually a show started in the 40s, I'm gonna give them 40s outfits. I asked which if they ever wore any outfits in this show before, and <laughs> I can't put him in that room. He rich. looks good. No. Not doing the orange and the and the green. Oh, uh, but that's the best part. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. But Tom definitely cares a little bit more about his appearance. You know, he's out here looking looking suave in his best suit, but Jerry, <laughs> Jerry's looking ratty. You like my pun? Oh, honey. <laughs> hey, hey, nice pun. <laughs> I love Jerry and all, but Tom, Tom's hitting a bit different here. What does that mean? Nothing. I'm, I'm not simping for Tom. Stop it! Here they are, Tom and Jerry. They have never looked better. Vote on the next character here. You guys know Call Me Chris. Yeah. <laughs> well, three times now, I've drawn all of her characters. But Naya cannot rest. What are you talking about? For she has made more. So, without further ado, let's start with one of my new personal favorites. You best move out of the way when Chriselle comes in the room. Move out of the way, Rich. What? Move out of the way, Rich! Chriselle's new TV show, Keeping Up With Chris, <laughs> got me like Kim Kardashian in the <laughs> This next character may even be less grounded in reality. I'm Amanda. Amanda definitely turns every single car ride into a therapy session. <laughs> Coincidentally, after you get out of her car, you also need a therapy session. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, we have my new colleague. <laughs> you know, I have been compared to other artists. I want to argue. But I know people like this. You know what? I admit it. Gunter is superior. <laughs> this drawing is my Winchester mansion. It will never be done. Who's your favorite? <laughs> they say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said. Hey, Rich. Yeah. Who's that silhouette? That's Clefairy. <laughs> so, using Pikachu's silhouette and only Pikachu silhouette, I'm going to create a brand new character. <laughs> I should add that I am not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way, which means I have to find uses for all the spiky bits. I have been trying for 30 minutes <laughs> to add feet to this thing. I can't do it. Okay, had a break, had a snack, not that snack, came back and now she's a beaver. And you may be asking yourself, Audrey, how does her being a beaver make her any easier to draw? Well, now I made her foot into a pepper and she's jalapeno business. Oh. <laughs> now ch chilly out, bro. That's the worst. <laughs> I'm a genius. Pikachu's tail is now a speech bubble. It's Betty! Ah! <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, and usually that means my wife draws me. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna draw her. Fused with somebody random. And who am I combining with the love of my life? Big Bird! Oh god, she's gonna hate me. <laughs> I really gotta make sure I do a good job, so I'm gonna trace. Nobody tell my wife. <laughs> she may be half Big Bird, but I'll be danged if she doesn't have some snexy legs. If anyone's worried that she might wake up, don't. I've got it covered. She'll never know. I finished it. I'm definitely not getting a present this year. It's time to show her now. Richard, <laughs> you have to stop doing this. I know that it's not you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. So guess what, honey? What? I drew you. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, look. <laughs> it's oh. you. Fused this big bird. <laughs> Find the generator here. As artists, it's sometimes hard to tell how far we've come and if we've really gotten any better. So as a way to test if I've gotten any better, I'm going to redraw some of my old artwork. And my loving husband Rich has decided that I'm going to redraw this piece that I made back in 2015. I, I had never done digital artwork back then and um, I was kind of obsessed with white gel pens. I spent like 30 minutes picking out one white gel pen and I'm like, can I just go home? I'm sorry! You know, the one thing I still do though... What? <laughs> the, the outline. Bam! Outline! Oh, what's that as an outline? What do we have here? Another outline! Why do I do this? What is it accomplishing? It may be seven years later, but you know what doesn't change? My need to do incessant details! You see the pores? I added pores! Why, you might ask? Well, I don't know. No one else is going to see them, but I do. I see them. There's even texture in her freaking socks, man. <laughs> I'm amazing! This one sort of gives like Becky vibes, you know? But this one, <laughs> this one's Debra. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I finally finished with Debra, and uh, I think, <laughs> I think 
my styles change just a wee tad in the last seven years. Which one do you guys like better?